Hello and welcome back to our Dauntless What If series. Let us recap the events of the previous video so that you are all caught up on what has been happening in our world. Last time a behemoth made out of fire and anger, Torgadoro, threatened not only our lives and stronghold settlement, but also the only source of water we had. After engaging the massive behemoth in battle by crafting armor made from parts gathered from other creatures of the same element, we managed to withstand the heat and craft weapons made from materials of creatures of the opposite element. We had succeeded in defeating the giant behemoth, but it was not without great difficulty. Now it has been almost two years since we fought Torgadoro, and our stronghold settlement was looking much better. We also gathered more materials from the smaller behemoths in our state, that we used to craft more weapons and armor since our normal common weapons have little to no effect on the creatures, which we have come to call behemoths because of their massive size. However, now after nearly two years of peace, the skies darkened and rumors spread across the state that strange portals and behemoths have been spotted, one in particular that possess powers of nightmarish proportions. For the sake of the law, we will call this behemoth Thrax. After hearing more rumors of others encountering this nightmarish behemoth, we have come to understand very little about this creature. But the one thing that is mentioned more and more from those who encounter this creature is that it possesses God-like power and will always have a devilish grin on its face. Could we survive an encounter with this creature? Let's find out. Our group gears up and sets out into the open dark lands in search of this monster. After what seemed like a long bit, we finally encounter the creature as it exits a portal. Immediately, we can acknowledge that the creature possesses space manipulation powers that are clearly beyond our understanding, perhaps utilizing gravity to rip open space, which of course also means it is able to manipulate gravity, putting this creature at a universal level or perhaps planetary level. This will not be an easy fight. We now engage the behemoth in battle, however, this was a terrible decision on our part. Utilizing its inconceivable power, the creature attacks from all angles, making it hard to predict its movements. The creature is also able to summon some sort of black goo that when stepped on could injure anyone severely. The battle rages on. As the battle continues, things start to seem hopeless, especially since the creature is able to teleport and slide around at incredible speeds. However, after battling the creature for what seemed like days, we finally spotted what we think could be two of its weaknesses. The creature will not use its teleportation abilities to attack if we are at a close combating distance, and it is also hurt by radiant light. Using this newfound knowledge, we finally managed to find an opening and deliver our first fatal blow. Finally, after waiting for more openings and timing our attacks correctly, we finally managed to defeat Thrax and save our state. Now, of course, this all sounds good on paper or in a video game. However, the truth of the matter is, humanity would most definitely not survive a real Thrax encounter. Thrax possesses powers, that of a deity, and it's important for us to give it the proper respect that it deserves, otherwise, we will all perish. Its ability to teleport and manipulate gravity alone makes it a nightmarish creature. But what do you think? Could we survive? Could you? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss the next What If video.